Take a look at what happens when you touch a 9 volt battery to some steel wool. It looks like the steel wool is actually igniting. So the way we draw power out of any battery is we connect something to both the positive and the negative terminals on that battery. Think about when you put a battery into something like a remote control or a toy. What's happening with the steel wool is quite similar. Those fine hairs of the steel wool might seem like they're all over the place, but in reality they're all connected to one another. When both the positive and the negative terminals of this 9 volt battery connect to the steel wool, a complete circuit is created. The 9 volt battery is causing a current to go through the steel wool. A major component of steel wool is iron. Iron is known to be an excellent conductor of electricity. It's common for metal to heat up when it has an electrical current going through it. But in this case the metal is so thin that it gets super hot immediately. This super hot iron Iron in the steel wool now combines with oxygen in the air and forms iron oxide. That's why the steel wool appears to disintegrate. If you think about a light bulb, a current passes through a filament and that filament glows really bright. Bright enough to light a whole room. Give it a try at home, but do it over a non-flammable surface. Those red hot pieces of iron oxide sometimes fall and sometimes they stay red hot. Hope everyone's having a nice summer. See you next time.